okay so let's try to connect microsoft one drive into app sheet so one of the thing that i have noticed with one drive is that when you put on the files without having to separate them within the documents or folders like this as you can see these are the documents in these folders and they are not categorized or put into a specific folder they will be easily accessible to app sheet and you can import them into the app sheet sources and make app out of it right so here you have to either use one of these options like folder and then within that folder you can use excel workbook or csv file right so here as you can see i have one ssn file that i can reload as you can see okay now this is the file i will try to open this within new tab it has its data around 100 or so as you can see 100 rows contains the name profession and ssn right so i'll be importing this particular within app sheet right so for that what i can do is go to account settings and then within this you have to find sources and click new data source now here you have some visible data sources so say you choose microsoft it will automatically take the onedrive one and it will connect so all the possible microsoft sources will be listed here now let me refresh the page for app sheet and then go to create app and then one of the existing data that option start with existing data and click on that and here so let's see my ssn app and i can put some category you can use other and choose here you can see the sources that we just added into here app sheet you can select that and then click on onedrive now it will search all the available documents you also notice the folders that i earlier mentioned so if you scroll even to those folders they will be shown currently it doesn't have anything so it will just show up like that now if i choose ssn then you will find it is being imported through app sheet once imported it will try and put into the view that you can see usually it forcefully represents the map view so if you don't want that switch the view to table or most likely a view like this so to check that you can always go to your views here you have like multiple options like deck table right so considering this is one of the good models for table or form you can choose that so i will choose table so it will be easier to view like those earlier hundred rows of entry already available within the app so i will save this and i can also check the desktop so this view particularly shows me the current table view so here you can see if i want to check i can simply click on one of the entries right here you see name id profession and ssn right i can edit that and i can easily change the data if i want to add the new one i'll be clicking on add and then i can choose the id so let's say this is not auto increment so i'll have to manually add the id so it will be represented here right one more thing within your app you will have to find a means to sort the data based on your id so that way you can have it incremental or 
from descending order to view those IDs, right? So let me cancel this. And if you want to see in any other view, you can close this and get this within mobile view, which is immediately available to the right. There is also landscape that you can check, right? So I think this is pretty much done for your OneDrive data source has been converted into app sheet. Now, if I want to get rid of this particular app, I'll just click on the main dashboard icon. Then I will go to the app, click delete. And I can even go further, go to account settings. And I will try to close the source connection by clicking on this bean icon it will be removed right so if you're trying to connect to OneDrive through account settings and data sources this is the way to do that